like a little bit of small nature. Just little herbs. Hey everybody and welcome back to Wacom, Texas. I'm Chris Kerr. And I'm Jay Myers. The show where you dream past, past the part and we, we screen past the art. All right, let's get started. Today's episode is, is going to be on snakes. snakes. All right, using a new... All right, I'm plugged in. Yeah, hold on, move. I'll pick, I'll pick out right. your brush for you. I thought we were going to pick it. All right, we're yeah, picking we'll out go. a fan brush, and I'm using a very large point size, 200 actually, so you can see the fan brush moving. We've heard your emails, and we're responding with something new. All right, this is, this is already looking amazing. So I'm drawing my favorite snake, which is the King Cobra. A little bit sluggish <laughs> due to the extreme point size. I'm going to let this catch up. Can you hit me with some uh, white ink? White. White paint. Wait, that's not white. All right. How do I? Oh, here it is. All right, cool. So I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we use the eye. <laughs> we use the eyedropper. You gotta. Click on, ow, ow. You gotta click on the black box and then make it white. Yep. Now it's done white. Okay. So we're right. learning. Everybody's learning. I'm not learning. I already knew that. Okay. You're learning. Well. Okay. I'm sticking with the. I'm sticking with the fan brush. You can see it moving. Off to the side. Now, also, if you tilt the pin, it tilts the brush. I'm lighting this um, area up, the chest area. Oh, I'm, I'm accidentally pressing the button on the side of the stylus. Okay. All right, so enough of that. <laughs> and can you hit me with a regular brush um, and a smaller point size? All right. So I've got I'm basically rough. We call it roughing it in um, in the illustration industry. Did you give me uh, another brush? Not yet. I'm doing that right now. All right. So what size do we want? We're probably going to go yeah, with low, like 40. 30 or 30 or 40. Yeah, that's... Cool so brand. some fun things about snakes. Um, I'm deaf, deathly I just don't want the fan brush. afraid of them. I, I'm, I don't like them. Are you afraid of the Gaboon Viper? Uh, that's one of the many that I'm afraid of. When I was younger, I used to mow the lawn in Missouri, and my brother would scare me. Um, he would jump up behind me and scare me. We actually have um, the King Cobra. We have a list of the different venomous snakes, and the King Cobra gets a, a five rating, which is the highest. And just to kind of put that in perspective, the Black Mamba has a rating of three for venom, and um, people can die within. Oh, I need a black ink. Sorry, let me make that clear. Greenish black, if you have it. Do you have any greenish black ink? Right there. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, so. I am scared of snakes. Uh, who would have guessed that? Right, uh, can you uh, hit me with a smaller point size? Okay, you said 30. That, that is, well, I, you said 30, 30 <laughs> to 40 and it's 35, <laughs> so 15. that is... Maybe 15. Let's go right. 18. That's actually good. I like that. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Um, go ahead. I'm not. <laughs> what are you going to say? Well, I was going to talk about how I'm scared of snakes, and I grew up in Missouri. And Missouri? I remember one time, I mean, this is kind of a long story, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. So I remember this one time, my dog outside was barking a lot. All right, so I'm drawing the chest area. Um, think about the King Cobra as like a swollen cavity for the chest area, which makes it a little more intimidating. And um, it's also got these like fin-shaped things for aerodynamics. And when it crawls on the ground... It can make it can crawl really fast, and so my dog was barking a lot, and I went outside to find out why. Why on earth were you barking? I said to the dog, and I came out there, and there was a black snake. I'm not kidding you, about four feet long, and my dog was warning me um, about this black snake. So basically, it's, a garter snake. No, it was black, huh. and so my mom came out black, and though. got a shovel. And she, oh, no. no, she actually tried to carry it to the woods on oh, the end of a, a shovel. But then, no, check this out. Beat it. Then my neighbor came out, is an old man. He came out and he chopped it in half in front of me as a kid. So he was 40? Well, no, I don't know. He's pretty old. But he was saying that that snake ate his blue jay eggs out of, out of the nest that he had Whoa. there. And so he uh, chopped it into pieces. The king cobra is the longest venomous snake in the world. Um, just thought I'd throw that in. Uh, another really long story. Is that okay? 
Oh yeah, we love your long story. So I was out I digging for, in the creek. I guess we for the creek as a kid. Audience. I was in the creek, um, and I was digging. Can you hand me some pink? All right, thank you. Go ahead. And I was digging to help the creek depth because it was kind of a narrow, shallow creek. It, 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 I mean. Well, I find that hard to believe, but. No, it was, and so my brother came over with the pellet gun, and we shot it. And uh, opened it up, and there was a little bitty fish inside of it. So somehow a water moccasin ate a fish. Whoa. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Um, I got another long one. Can I tell another one? Yeah. One time. Please, please do. Okay, one time across the street from our house. All right, so I'm coming back in with some more details. Um, this is just like random shading. And when people who don't draw see this kind of stuff, it just shows that you have an attention for detail. Um, so... Just put some awesome. specks and dots and dabs and <laughs> diddles and um, it it's kind of it goes back to the art line. All right, I'm almost done. This is the most important thing. You always want to have a shadow because it grounds the snake because the snake is always on the ground. We don't want to give people the impression that snakes can float or fly. Well, I mean, have you ever seen an, uh, a snake charmer? Um, hey, do snake? you want to talk about something more interesting like venom and like? Um, okay. What happens to people when they get bit? Oh, my brother. I got a story. It's a All long right. story. My brother was little, <laughs> and he was like maybe two right. or three or maybe four or five or six or seven. Something else. So you always want the shadow to be like interesting, like kidney bean shape or um, like a mustache shape because it references something else. And my brother stuck his thumb in the, a hole in the ground, and a mm -hmm. baby copperhead bit him, and it made his arm swell up. Whoa. And he had to go to the hospital. Wow, that's pretty it's awesome. It's a true story. That was in Missouri, in Branson, uh, I've Missouri. I've been watching a lot of uh, fatal attractions and it people was... who have snakes and keep them in their house. And some people have like a hundred snakes, venomous, and they try and um, take them out and end up getting bit. You know, and you don't, you take have to have, for a walk. you know what anti-venom is? No. Oh, huh. it's um, what you have to be injected with within a half an hour of a snake bite. It's like an anti-venom that reverses the Well, that's funny you should say that because my right. brother that got bit was... I think this is, looks pretty good. You have, that looks usually amazing, you say it actually. looks good, but... No, it does. It looks really good. All right. I like how it's going to come up and strike. Yeah. So, the King Cobra. That's it. That's our show. That's our show. Thanks. Snakes. Snakes.